assalamu alaikum uh, i am recording this video so that i can explain uh, how you can install zoom application and how you can start a zoom session for your students and how what are the features that are very useful while you are taking zoom session with the students okay so first i am starting how you can install it so uh, you will open your browser and you can open zoom.us you can write this link directly or you can also search zoom on google so uh, google will provide you the link to download this uh, but you can also directly write the link as well zoom.us uh, from this website you can go to resources here you can see on the top right corner uh, there is a second last option of resources and in this button here you can see there is a first option download zoom client so this is what you need to download if you want to have a session on zoom so uh, click on this and this is the latest version of zoom cloud client meeting so you can easily click and download like this it, it this is the only 11.4 mp file very small file it will be easily downloaded once it is downloaded you can easily open and install this so the installation process is very simple so I am not covering that in this video because it is same as you installed any other software okay so once so you have installed the zoom application uh, so it will have an icon like this so open zoom and you can uh, have you will have these all options uh, sorry for this you will have all these options so uh, what you want to do you can do if you want to uh, 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 create new meeting so you can go to this option sorry since I have clicked the zoom installer so it is installing zoom and it has closed my application I was recording video for okay so this is the zoom uh, application this is uh, the, its uh, outlook and uh, uh, these are four options that you can use on zoom uh, first option is of new meeting uh, when you want to start a meeting you can click this i will click and let you know what are the option you need to select and uh, this is the option where you want to join any meeting so i am discussing these features first uh, because these are very short then we will go for this and discuss all the features which are useful uh, and uh, uh, let me just let you know that uh, this is all about uh, installing a zoom so it is very easy process we have installed it now we are going to start zoom session okay so how we can join zoom session so there is an option of join click this and it is uh, asking for your uh, meeting id you want to uh, join so when you start any meeting so it will provide you meeting id that you can provide to your all participants then using that id they can join you so it will be provided later so we will provide it and this is the option where you want to schedule any meeting okay so this is again very important so click this if you want to schedule any meeting for your class or for your colleagues uh, uh, in future so you can uh, uh, create this uh, you can schedule this meeting so this is the meeting topic whatever topic is discussion for example so whatever the agenda you can mention this here then you can select the start date and start time at what time you want to start this session so you can edit this and you can select any time you want at which time you want to start this meeting then you can select the duration of the meeting you want to have the hour, an hour uh, or more than hour and the minutes okay exactly okay a second option you have a meeting id so again here you have two options if you go for general id so it will create any id uh, that you can uh, provide you to your participant to join your that particular session but if you want to use your own uh, specified id which is your personal meeting id so it is same for all of your sessions so if you want to start your session with this id so you can also do that and if you don't want to share this id and if you want to have a session with any other id so you can go for general uh, generate automatically okay so uh, but this is feasible because if you if you recreate the session so uh, with the students so they know uh, uh, the id will be same and they will rejoin you 
after some time because if you are using the free version of zoom so you can only have a session for 40 minutes uh, in one span then you can restart the session so if you are restarting the session with uh, this id so again zoom will create a new id that you have to uh, coordinate to your all participants or student to rejoin but if you are using your own id so you can uh, you uh, you should already let them know that the session is going to over and you can rejoin the session with the same id so you will not have to send the id again and again so using your personal id so you can start your session which is favorable then it is asking for your I meeting password so with the id you can set any password for example i am setting school you can change any password you want okay then there are few options for um, a video when you are having a session with the students or with your clicks so there is an option uh, first option is of host host means you who is hosting this meeting so you want your camera to be uh, uh, turned on so keep it on on otherwise if you want when you are starting the session so if you want it to be off so you can uh, turn it to off okay the second is participants and for the participants if you want uh, in the session everybody should be uh, able to show their uh, cameras their faces or anything they want to show so you can you can uh, you can open uh, their uh, videos then they, they will be allowed to show their cameras and if you don't want to allow them so you can keep it uh, off so they they will not be able to show their videos the uh, the third option uh, the next option is of calendar so for it, this is for your reminders if you are scheduling any meeting so it will keep your record that you have particular meeting on that time so you can store it in these three options so this is not uh, that useful uh, in this session in this video uh, uh, the advanced features are very useful just uh, uh, please note uh, the first option is of enable waiting room waiting room means okay when the participants are joining your class uh, if you enable waiting room so uh, uh, you will have a pop out that somebody want to join you then if you admit then they will be in your meeting otherwise if you discard they will uh, be not allowed to enter to your meeting but if you want uh, since you are having session with your students and uh, uh, you don't want uh, um, whenever they are coming they are taking your permission so you can just uh, uh, unclick this uh, if you have unclicked enable waiting room so whenever they will come they will directly join and there will uh, no any permission from the teacher that they are coming to your session because it create a uh, confusion for teacher because teacher is discussing uh, discussing something and suddenly there is a pop out that somebody wants to join you or give permission or reject so this uh, um, uh, confuses teacher so you can uh, uncheck this whenever they are coming they can come to the class and you can see from the screen that somebody has joined okay so mom i prefer this not to check it uh, otherwise it's your option but what it does i i have just explained the second is join uh, enable join before the host for example you are uh, you are uh, you are scheduling a meeting and uh, uh, this check will allow your participant to join before you Be before you came to the session they can join you okay so if you are having a session with the students so you can uncheck this uh, because when you come then they can join but if you want if they have uh, the time is uh, uh, the time of meeting has come and if they want to come though so let them uh, start coming and i will join after some time so you can enable this uh, so uh, if this is checked so they can come and you can you can uh, join after them also okay so this is the option when uh, the participants are coming and uh, for example you are having any discussion and uh, anybody came uh, uh, and uh, his mic start making noises or started saying anything and the, all the discussions um, uh, disturbs uh, so uh, what you can do you can uh, check this because whenever participants are coming they are on mute then you can unmute them later but when they are coming they are muted okay so this is uh, the, that for and uh, this is the option if you want to uh, record your session if you want to uh, uh, share your recorded video to your students who could not have joined your session so uh, if uh, you can you can also do it manually out when the session is started but if you want uh, 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 keeping that in mind you can forget this to record so you can uh, check this button it will automatically record all of your sessions okay this session uh, this session will automatically be recorded if you do not uh, press the button of record 
okay so this is the option uh, so after completing all this option you can click to schedule now your meeting on zoom is being scheduled you can see this okay now in this there here you can see there are tabs there is a tab of meeting so when you will go to this and you can see this is the meeting uh, discussion this is the time and this is the id that you need to share with your participants so when you click this <coughs> when you click this here you have details so you can share if you want to share uh, 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 the meeting id so from here you can copy the invitation so when you copy this your invitation has been copied uh, uh, you can you can paste uh, you can uh, give it to anybody you can just paste to like this so uh, you can share this uh, to anybody it has meeting agenda it has meeting date time link to join and the meeting id everything is uh, copied you can easily share this to whatsapp or to email uh, you can share this uh, invitation from any resource you want okay so this is the way uh, and you can start the meeting when you will start when time will be done so you can start with this button and if you want to edit any specification of this way meeting time agenda any other thing then you can go for edit and you can delete this meeting as well so these are the four options for uh, uh, giving the meeting id to participants you can click here to start the session you can click here to add the specifications of this meeting you can go here and you can delete the meeting scheduled meeting from here okay and here you also find your uh, personalized id if you want to share this to anybody uh, that whenever you are having any session with your personalized id so they know your id so you can share this id to everybody okay so these are the upcoming meetings and these here you can also find the recorded meetings all the meetings you will have it will be recorded here and you can uh, download that later anytime you want so this is the meeting tab and this is the home tab so i have explained how to join i can explain how to sh schedule now i am sharing some option within the uh, the session so for that i am starting a session right now if you want to start any session immediately so you can go for new meeting so click this and here you can see the session is being started and as i told you that uh, if your camera is on uh, i can show you some other options as well if i could okay i will show you later I will show you later okay so these are the option if you if you want to mute yourself so this is the option you can mute it uh, now your voice will not be recorded in the session or your participant but uh, your participant will no longer be able to listen what you are saying okay so this is something once you want to mute yourself and uh, similarly you can unmute it as well uh, the second is uh, this uh, for your camera and if you want to if you want to show yourself to your participant so you can keep your camera turned on and if you don't want to show yourself to your participant you can click this and your camera will be turned off similarly there are some other options if you have multiple cameras and you want to change the camera so you can do it uh, as per your requirements so this is the way it works uh, some other options we have here uh, in this security the first option you will have of security uh, in the security the first option is of lock meeting when you started meeting and uh, your participation uh, your participate uh, your participant have joined your meeting and you uh, want to lock the meeting for uh, for not any further participation and if you have uh, for example you decided to have 30 participants because you cannot handle more than that if in case then you can lock the meeting if your meeting is locked no one else can join you after that unless you do not uncheck unlock okay now uh, when you will lock the particip participant could not join and when you unlock uh, the pa anyone can join you with the meeting id okay so this is the lock meeting option second is as i have discussed uh, when i was discussing the uh, specification of scheduled meeting that enable a uh, uh, waiting room so you can say that when you are starting the session you can uncheck the enable meeting and uh, let everybody come to your session and once uh, most of the students have been here and you are starting the discussion then you can enable it so that all the uh, all the remaining should not uh, come directly to your session but uh, the pop out should generate and uh, first permission should be asked so you can uh, you can use this session uh, before the session and uh, continue this in the, in between the session as well so this is the second option 
and third uh, if you want to allow some give some pa uh, permission to your participant allow participant to share a screen if you want your participant to share their screens to you or to other participants with all the participants in the meeting so you can allow them if you want them to uh, chat with each other you can allow them if you want them to rename themselves so you can allow and block them and if you want to uh, set them unmute themselves for example if the students are saying and they are talking then you can you can uncheck this and you can mute all of them i will show you how you can mute all of them but before uh, muting all of them if you uh, 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 uncheck this so they will not be able to unmute themselves unless you do not unmute them so you can have an strategy that you when they come they should be muted and this check is unchecked and when you uh, when anybody want to say something they can raise their hand and then you can unmute themselves to say something and then you can lock them again so that there is no confusion there is no that everybody is speaking in the session so there should not be that scenario in your uh, session and your session is very smooth for all everybody to listen and to watch so this is a session if you uh, check this so they can uh, they can you can mute them but they can unmute themselves khud hi wo apne aap ko unmute kar sakte hain okay so this is the very nice option of these are very useful options uh, if they are chatting with each other so you can block their chattings and you can do all these which are very useful when you are dealing with students so this is the thing uh here you can see all the participants i do not have any participant uh, let me uh, let me uh, share this uh, let me join this meeting with my mobile as well so that i can show you some feature which are available for the participants when you join so same uh, i need a meeting id so from here you can see there are three buttons when i click this okay not from here sorry uh well, there is an option uh, uh, I, let me tell you the short key of this the short key is alt i what is the short key alter and i so when you click alter and i you can see here it, 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 there we have here we have a meeting id and here in the uh, uh, right bottom you can see there is a password of this meeting so you can provide these two details who, who you want to join this join your session okay 7806 so this is the pass id i have provided this i have taken this id in my mobile and i am joining the session <clears throat> sorry okay i'm closing this and uh, from here you can also copy uh, the invitation as i showed you to copy for the scheduled meeting you can also copy from here and you can send it to anybody you want to join your session okay now i have joined the session from my mobile as well as you can see i am having two uh, screens now and uh, from one is of my mobile phone and second is from laptop so as you can see my uh, sometimes it happens you, uh, uh, you will be having a uh, so, uh, so, uh, now my camera is on and you can see me here from my mobile phone here see from my mobile phone okay Uh, so uh, if you are having this icon uh, 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 it is very important please note if you are having this uh, um, uh, microphone option and video but option it means that uh, your participant has enabled their microphone and video if you are not having any one of these it means you will ask them to unmute themselves they have not enabled themselves to speak so unless they will not check this they cannot speak in this session they cannot say anything in the session so if you are not having this uh, uh, icon of microphone so you will ask them to click here on the uh, left uh, left bottom side of your button and enable your audio okay so uh, this is the way and here you will have an option to mute all the participants you can uh, click this and all the participants are muted and allow participant to unmute themselves for example you are muting all the students again and again and they are again and again unmuting themselves and speaking and disturbing your class so what you can do you can select mute all and you can uh, check this button allow part, uh, uncheck this button so that they are they do not have permission to allow themselves and you can allow them whenever you want okay so you can mute all and you will have also the option of unmute all okay so this is the key and if you want to uh, if you have uh, uh, mute them all and you want to unmute you will go to here and you can click here and here you will have an option to unmute so you have muted all the participants 
and you have uh, uh, um, uh, not given them permission uh, to unmute themselves and okay then you can uh, mute anybody anybody you want you can unmute anybody you want to speak in the session and then again you can go for mute all so this is the way you can organize your session for everybody uh, and this is the way uh, and for example if the participant want to say something uh, they can say uh, there is an option of more from uh, when the participants say unfortunately I cannot show you uh, but uh, on the screen uh, they will have an option of more when they click there so they has an option uh, they have an option of uh, raise hand so if your student want to say anything in the session they can click on raise hand so uh, you will be, you will be intimated that they want to say something to you and you can give them time like this if you can say that it has uh, it has uh, the hand has raised it means uh, this particular participant want to say something uh, he want uh, uh, he wants you to or uh, unmute him so that he can ex he can say what he wants to say he can ask what he want uh, he wants to ask so this is the way you can lower his hand or you can keep his hand up or raised uh, and if, if, if the hand will be raised unless you or the participant uh, uh, unless you or, uh, or your participant do not uh, sorry unless you or your participant do not uh, 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 raise down the hand okay so this is the way uh, you can work okay <clears throat> right okay now i want to uh, tell you that uh, this is the first option from where you can see uh, the uh, uh, options to unmute or mute unmute me this will uh, not allow to unmute himself okay okay there is very a very important option when you click this uh, any of your participant more option so you can there is an option to make host if you if you click this so the person will become host and you will become a participant so all the option of blocking and muting will be given to that particular participant and you will no uh, longer be able to do any of this so make sure you are not doing this and you can rename them if the students are joining you with any name and, and you are having confusion to talk to them then you can rename them and you can uh, you can stop them you you can uh, take their permission to not rename again so this is the way you can control this is the very strong feature as well uh, so all we are going uh, all we are done and uh, so as far as the participation tab is concerned the third is if you want to do chatting with the students you want to say something if anybody is making noise or mic is not clear if you want to say something then you can say anything you want hello for example uh, there are some some options uh, like uh, uh, if you have selected to everyone so the message will be sent to everyone it will be appeared to everyone's screen and if you want to send this to particular uh, uh, student or particular participant so you can specifically send message as well and again you can block this for students if you want if you allow a student to have conversation with each other you can keep this option checked otherwise you can uncheck this okay so this is the option of chatting you can close this and you can close this if you want to open this and this you can do whatever you want okay the short key is uh, alt u for having participant okay so take sorry okay next uh, i want to share this is the way uh, as i said you can record your session where, uh, where from you want and you can stop your recording so this is the option to start recording and here you have option to stop it so you can do you can pause it or you can uh, stop it you can do whatever you want okay so this is the way you can do something with recording of recording of your session then you can share it to your participant after that okay so this is and this is the reaction if you want to appreciate or if you want to clap for everybody you can do this and it will be seen to everybody's screen like this with the participant screen that he or she she is saying something to you uh, with emoji okay uh, and the last option that i want to discuss is of how you can share your screen and this is a very good option you can click you can share multiple things uh, there is a, what are the options only one participant can share a uh, screen at times or you can want multiple participants to share their screens okay so this is the option uh, 
or uh, you can also go for our advanced setting where you can uh, you can stop participant to share their screens or only host can part, uh, share their screen or all the participant can you can check any want as per your requirement so this is the option which is available here and how you can share the screen you can click here and the short key is alt s so if you click alt s you will have these options to share if you want to share your whole screen so whatever you are doing it will be shown to the your participants and if you are showing uh, particular tabs of yourself so when you will select this so only you can uh, uh, they will be seeing you what you are doing in the uh, tabs not in your screen and if you are minimizing anything it will not be shown to the student so and this is the whiteboard if you want to write anything and everybody should uh, watch uh, what you are writing so you can use whiteboard from here so these are few more options you can use there are advanced options as well if you want to share any file you can do that as well so you can explore as you will use this so the main option that how you can screen how you can share your screen so this is the way now I'm going to share my screen so whatever I am doing on my screen uh, with my desktop with my tab with my uh, window option with my start option so everybody will be seen uh, on my meeting with my all participants so and and when you start sharing your screen so here you have a controller you can move it to anybody uh, it will not be shown to the participant only you are uh, you are being shown this so when you are working it if it disturbs you you can change it, its position to everywhere you are comfortable with okay so again here you have all the options i have discussed what are the new options which we have appeared we have three options here Inotion. Inotions means if you want to write anything or if you want to do anything like this, if you want to draw, if you want to type, if you want to do any such thing, you can do with this option of Inotion. This is the option Inotion. So there are a few more options. You can explore it uh, yourself. But I have uh, just show you that this is something you can do to write on a screen. So you can clear all the drawing from here. The problem is that your participant can also draw on your screen and everybody will be seeing what is happening. You will be having a session and you will be having drawings on your screen that everybody will be uh, watching and you will be getting uh, annoyed. Okay, so how you can stop that uh, from, uh, from, uh, from here, from option, you can see there is an option where you can uh, uh, stop them. There we have option, disable participations and ocean. If you click this now your participant cannot write on their screens otherwise if you do if you allow them then they can write anything they want to write uh, to their screen and not only you but everybody will be watching that somebody is writing something on the screen so this is something that you, which is very important student can uh, teach you writing again and again something on the screen and you will then getting uh, invite and your session will be disturbed like this uh, I, I i am writing from my mobile phone and you can see on the screen as you can see my mouse is not writing i am writing from my mobile phone okay so how you can block me i can clear this uh, uh, how you can block me from this option disable participation and ocean okay so you can disable now i cannot write if i will try it will give me an error and i cannot disturb your session so this is the very important feature and uh, um, if you want to show if you want to allow them to write anything in screen but you want to uh, see the name who is writing so you can also click this uh, and uh, this is the option uh, the second option is uh, control it it is very important if you want uh, to access to the participants computer so you can go if you click this so you will start using the mouse and keyboard of the participant you will be in the in the in participants uh, screen and you can add it or if you can open if you can install anything in your participation screen which is it is very important right so you can add uh, you can go to any computer screen and you can uh, show them what you are saying which is very good actually uh, so uh, these are the all options i have shown to you and i think none of them uh, left to discuss so this is all about the zoom the some uh, uh, i want to just recap all the necessary things uh, the first thing is that if you want to lock the session if you don't want any further participant to join you you can enable waiting room when you want uh, uh, to hold your coming participant in a room unless you do not permit them to come into your session so you can enable it the, uh, uh, this is what you want to allow your participant to do uh, they, you allow them to share their screen you allow them to chat with each other they, you allow them to rename themselves and you allow them to unmute themselves when you are muting all of them then you can they can unmute themselves and speak up in the session and the session will be disturbed so you can uncheck this so that they have uh, no right to unmute themselves 
so this is uh, remove participant if you want to remove any participant you can do this so these are the options uh, uh, which are very important uh, regarding innovation very important if you want to write anything and this is very important where you can stop the innovation from student side and it will not be any more uh, disturbing for your session so uh, i hope uh, i have discussed everything with you uh, one last thing i want to discuss which i will discuss when i will end this session and uh, uh, because i cannot here i can how i can stop sharing my screen so here uh, stop sharing so now uh, nobody can share my screen rather my camera if it is on uh, so and this is uh, if i uh, end the session so it will give me leave the session it, it what will happen i will uh, be gone from the session and some any other participant will become the host of the meeting and the meeting will continue and if you click end meeting for all so it will be end for everybody so this is all about uh, uh, this is all about now you can see i recorded the session so it is converting and it has stored in my computer whatever i have said whatever i have recorded and i just want to share what this uh, when you are creating any new meeting so if you want to set some specifications so you can click this short button and here you can see when you start you should start with a uh, video no you want uh, don't start with a video just start a session then i will start the uh, camera according to my requirement so you can click this and if you want to uh, uh, if you uncheck this so whenever you will start the session it will generate id automatically your id will not be used so okay but if you want to always use your personal id you can check this and start the session and if you want to if you want your id so you can copy from here you can uh, uh, you can uh, you can copy invitation from here and you can use share it to the participant so i hope i have under, uh, explained each and everything in detail uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, i hope it will uh, zoom will be very beneficial for your students and you will be having very smooth session after watching this video thank you so much